This is a demonstration of a positioner with a fail freeze function um, as well as a pneumatic lockup valve. First, we're going to look at a standard positioner, which is a fail safe positioner, meaning whenever it has a signal and the signal is lost, it goes to a zero position, no matter what the error or signal was. So we're going to take this unit and run it to 50%, and you'll see that it's now at 50%. We will remove the signal and the unit drives closed. When the signal is introduced back to the positioner, it will go to whatever signal it is given once it boots back up, back to 50%. That is the function of a standard fail-safe positioner. Now we're going to look at a fail-freeze positioner. Right now, with a fail freeze, a fail freeze will freeze in place on loss of control signal, be that 4 to 20 milliamps. We're going to run this unit to 12 milliamps, which is 50%. You'll see it's at 50%. If we release the signal, you'll see that the positioner stayed in place. Now, when we introduce the signal, once the positioner boots back up, it will go to the position that the signal is telling it to go to. which in this case is still 50%. But now that we have signal, we can control it as normal. This unit is also tubed with a pneumatic lockup, which is a secondary fail in place item. As the signal, or as the, if air pressure is lost, and we'll simulate by dropping air pressure, now the lockup valve has locked, all ports closed, and we will change the signal and we'll see that there, no matter what signal we give it, there is no change in position. Whatever signal the unit is being given, when the air pressure comes back up, it will then go to that position. And now the position is normally.